Hello my loves, it's Kemi. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favourite long-lasting makeup products. There's makeup products I have tried and tested and they have lost me up to 18 hours. So if you guys are interested, let's jump straight into today's video. Okay, first thing, before applying any makeup onto your skin, you need to make sure that you're working on a clean canvas. No makeup product will work to its full potential if you're not working on a fresh, clean skin, like I have right here. And I have gone in and done my my daily skincare routine. The last thing I need to add is my moisturizer. And I'm gonna use my Trina London Bounce Back Moisturizer. I recently just got this moisturizer and I have been loving it. Even if you have oily skin, you wanna make sure that your skin is hydrated with all the nourishment that it needs. You can either go with hyaluronic acid, moisturizer. Just make sure that your skin is hydrated and moisturized and it's not like dry and cracky because this really helps with like how your makeup sits on your face. I really like this moisturizer because it doesn't feel greasy, it doesn't feel heavy. It really just like nourishes my skin. The next step is primer and the primer that I will recommend is using a gripping primer. That could be the Milk Hydro Grip, the Makeup Revolution Skin Adhesive Primer or the Elf Power Grip Primer. Not only would the gripping primer like allow the makeup to stick onto your face and allow your makeup to stay put throughout the whole day. It's also perfect for all skin types as well. If you have oily skin I would recommend to go with two primers, a gripping primer plus a mattifying primer. Use the mattifying primer only on areas that you know you get oily throughout the day don't pull it all over your face because you don't want that cakey heavy look you don't want your primer to suck out all the oils and moisture that you just applied onto your skin the primer that i'm going to be using today is my elf power grip primer plus four percent niacinamide in it not only with this help grip my makeup this is also going to help even out my skin tone as well i really like this i like to rub in first and then tap it into my skin <laughs> Your skin starts to bounce like that you know the primer is ready next i'm going to go in my melanin make it last natural finish setting spray this will really lock in my skincare my moisturizer and my primer in place because i am going with a matte foundation so i want to make sure that my skin prep is like locked in and this melanin setting spray not only does it give that longevity because it's a long lasting setting spray it also gives like a natural radiant finish to my skin as well to color correct and brighten up my under eye i want to go in my nars soft matte complete concealer this concealer has like a dry consistency it's full coverage and it does increase on me as well a little goes a long way with this and i like to go in with this because one it acts as a concealer and a corrector at the same time and by doing this as well it reduces the amount of products i am placing underneath my eyes i do need to put foundation underneath my eyes which will also help my under eye not to crease as much as well so i'm gonna go in my beauty blender and just blend that even Further. I really like this concealer because it has a matte finish. It's super easy to apply. One of the biggest things that matters when you're trying to achieve a long lasting makeup is the foundation you pick. I personally would recommend to use a satin matte finish foundation. You want to stay away from like dewy foundation or like lightweight foundation because lightweight foundation don't have that much hold on them and too dewy foundation will just slip and slide off your face. So that is why satin matte foundations are the perfect foundation to use. I have two options for you guys today that I personally love. One is the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. Foundation. This foundation is oil free, oil controlling and waterproof as well. The one I'll be using today is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. This foundation wears it beautifully. The formula of this gives a natural matte finish to your skin as well. It is a medium full coverage and it blends into your skin flawlessly. I really like this foundation because it's not oily on the skin. It doesn't break up after a couple hours of wear either. The shade I am wearing is 4N74. It is also a water based foundation which is perfect for people with oily skin for concealer we're going to use the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer love this concealer because it does not budge throughout the day it is also full coverage as well the shade I am using is Chestnut just go into my beauty fun and just blend that out I'm gonna leave my under eye for now, just so that I can get a little bit more tackier. So when it comes to contour, I find that the best way of allowing my contour to stay on my face is going over cream products and then going on top of that with a powder bronzer. I find that having those two layers doesn't allow my bronzers to like fade out throughout the day. So it's a cream brush on my face today. I'm gonna to go in my makeup session, make a concealer in the shade 18. I'm gonna deepen up with my Iron Majestic 
contour in the shade Congo. At the moment, contour just brings a little warmth to my face. I like to use this because I love the undertone of the mega concealer, but the concealer doesn't run deep enough. So I like to use it like semi warm up my face. Then I go in with Congo by Juvia's Place to really bring forward my cheekbones. This shade is really deep, so I don't use that much of it. The best technique that I have found that works best for me is just tapping the products in rather than like swiping. Okay, so now that we have all our cream products on, we need to start setting our makeup to make sure that it stays put for the whole day. If we're just to leave it like this, the makeup will definitely slip and slide off our face. So adding powder, we're just really locking all our cream products and make sure that it doesn't slide off our face throughout the day. So what I personally like to do is going first with a pressed powder and then going on top of that with a setting powder. I like using a pressed powder first because I find it doesn't cling on to my cream products. It literally just sets it in place rather than me going with the setting powder first just because sometimes it's not like evenly distributed on my powder path and it just end up being clingy on certain areas and being patchy but when I go with pressed powder first it's easier for me to use a setting powder on top of that because it's powder on powder the pressed powder I'm using is by e.l.f. it is the shade 10 finishing powder and this is in the shade medium dark and as you guys can see, I have used and abused this powder. Not only does it matte down my concealer, it also has this silky formula that gives a nice light coverage as well to my skin. The setting powder you use also plays a key factor in creating a long lasting makeup. The one I'll personally recommend is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder as well as my RCMA No Color Powder. I love the combination of these together. I'm using a powder puff to really press this into my skin. Individually they are both long lasting. The Easy Bake Powder also helps blurring your pores as well and it helps with fine lines and holding your makeup in place. Whereas the RCMA Translucent Powder is also long lasting but it has a brush finish it is lightweight in texture and it glides onto your skin effortlessly and you really want to press the powder really into your skin because you want to make sure that that concealer is set and locked away now i'm going to go in with my Juvia's place bronze palette i've got the shade dark and deep dark here to set my contour slash bronzer i don't really think it matters the products you use for your contour slash bronzer um, as long as you're doing this double layer it should stay put for the whole day Moving on to eyes, when it comes to eyeshadows, I feel like the best thing is just making sure that your eyelid is prepped. You can do that by using an eyeshadow primer or concealer. I'm gonna go back in with the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I'm gonna grab a tiny bit of this and just place that on my lid. Having a nice clean lid, it just allows your eyeshadow color to be more vibrant, it's more true to color. You can either leave it and not set it if you want your eyeshadow to be pigmented. I'm setting my lid because I am going for a matte look. So I want my eyeshadow to look soft and not heavy. By the way, I'm going back in with this sheer tint finishing powder. Eyeshadow palettes I just feel like are very give or take. There are so many good eyeshadow palettes out there that are pigmented and they blend well as well. They there's so many other drugstores, so many high end, so many luxury, so many in between as well. You do you have some actual products that are really bad and you have some that are really good? This depends on the brand and the formula because I have really good actual palettes from Primark and they're like five pounds or less. And I've had like really high end palettes that were trash. So it's just one of those things that you never know until you actually receive it. For today, I picked out the Too Faced Too Feminine eyeshadow palette as well as my Wild Child Press palette by Colourpop. No real reason why I just wanted to play with these two shadows today as they are just both stunning. So I'm going to go into the Too Feminine palette. I'm going to grab this shade right here which is the, it's like a chocolate brown shade. I'm just going to place that in my crease. Gonna grab ground cream from the Wild Child palette and just place that right above the first shade we just used. I'm using this more as a transition shade instead, actually. I'm gonna have face D. I'm gonna tap a little bit of this in my crease instead. 
going back into a tea feminine palette and i want to go back in with that brown shade and a fluffy brush and i use that to lightly blend above the dark brown we just used for our lid shade i think i'm gonna go with the shade called icon it's like a skin tone shimmer shade color I'm gonna cover my entire eyelid with this. I'm going back in with the dark brown shade. Just using that to smoke out my lash line. And that is pretty much it for the eyes for now. I'm gonna go back and just start lightly dusting off the excess powder. Okay, you can either tap it in using the same brush that you use for your pressed powder, or you could just tap and swipe. The technique that I like to use is a tap in motion. So I like to tap in the rest of the setting powder into my skin. Now skin is gonna look a little bit dry right now because obviously we've got so much powder on. But once we set our face, it will be back to normal. I feel like everyone knows this, that blushes are one of those things that tends to leave your face first. But the one blush that I have found that is long lasting on its own is the Rare Beauty Liquid Blushes. It has a liquid to matte formula. I really, really like this. You can use this by itself or you can go on top of it with a powder blush, which is what I'm gonna do because I want my blush to last me for the whole day. So what I like to do is just work at the back of my hand and just apply it on my brush and then go in onto my skin. You kind of do need to work quickly with this because it does dry down matte but she is gorgeous and she stays put okay the rare beauty blushes is one of the blushes that i would personally recommend the shade i'm using is love before going and apply my lashes i'm going to go in and set my face i'm first going to go back with my milani make it last setting spray again this will lock in my makeup and give in a natural finish to my skin and I apply a very generous amount on my skin. I'm also gonna apply my MAC Fix Plus Matte Setting Spray. This will give me that soft matte finish to my makeup. Unfortunately, I can't really tell you guys much about mascaras because I am a false lash babe. But the one mascara that I really like is the Benefit Bad Girl Bam Mascara. I can't tell you if it's long wearing because I did end up going with false lashes. But what I can say for my bottom lashes, they don't budge throughout the day and they don't like leak. But my recommendation to you guys, if you're looking for a long lasting mascara, is use a waterproof mascara because they tend to like not budge at all. Um, and they don't tend to and they don't tend to run even if it's raining or you're crying just to give the extra security with my blush I'm gonna go in with my Kim Beauty powder blush in the shade Fiji and apply that on lip products are one of those things that will always move that will always go after a couple hours so they're just one of those things that you always have to like retouch up on and i tend to wear glosses with a lot of my looks so i don't mind touching up throughout the day but if you do not want to do that i would definitely recommend going in with a matte lip product so just down to your own preference and this completes today's video cousins what do you guys think about the products that i use what do you guys think about this makeup look as well let me know down below in the comment section cousins these products for keep your makeup in place over 10 plus hours your makeup is not going anywhere they're gonna stay in place they're not gonna budge they're not gonna slip and slide off your face thank you me later you're welcome thank you cousin so much for watching i love you guys so much and inshallah i'll catch you guys in my next video bye cousins Mwah.